Welcome back to SDL Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and I'm here with author Susan E. Segura. We've been talking about your new book, Cracks in the Cobblestone, <laughs> and uh, it's been out now for several months. You've got great feedback. It's a murder mystery yeah. with some um, locations in St. Louis, so we wouldn't necessarily know that because you they have different names, right? Yes, and, and anybody who reads it who has never been to St. Louis or whatever they want, you know, really recognize anything. But I have had some people tell me when they were reading it, oh, you know, I, friends who knew that I kind of based it, they said, oh, I pictured you being, you know, yeah. whatever on Main Street. Exactly. So. <laughs> people who know you well and where you hang out. So there's, um, it's a murder mystery, but there's an, some, uh, an underlying Titanic theme, right? So tell yeah. us about that. Yes. Well, I'm um, immensely fascinated about the whole Titanic tragedy, and I, I don't know why, where that came from. And when I first started writing my book, I decided to set it April 12th of 1912. So then I started not even thinking, you know, what might have been going on. I started researching events of that time. And of course, Titanic was three days after mm -hmm. I decided to set my book. So I had to include something in there. And then I had been, when I worked at uh, the newspaper at West News Magazine, I had gone to the Titanic exhibit and they hand you a... Um, boarding pass when you go to the Titanic exhibits and you actually it's an actual person who was on the Titanic and I re I still had that so I researched her the mm -hmm. person that I had been she turned out to uh, be a newlywed and she actually survived the Titanic and her husband did too and mm -hmm. one of the interesting things was when I researched it her husband was a bricklayer and that kind of fit into the mm -hmm. cobblestone theme. Mm -hmm. So I added that into, it's an underlying element. It's not the main part of it, but anybody who likes Titanic, mm -hmm. they'll kind of, Yeah, you know, they'll get a kick out of yeah. that little extra bonus. Yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, so um, the book, um, it, it, you know, it sounds completely compelling and it's a can't put down kind of mystery. Um, but. Talk about the writing process, and you have the added benefit of having been a journalist, having been a writer as a career. We have a lot of authors who come on the show who have completely different day jobs, and you're squeezing writing in, maybe have never had experience doing creative writing. So how was it for you? Well, um, I had always been a journalist. I had been a journalist for about 20 years. So the hardest part for me as a writer, obviously the writing came easy to me, but the hardest part was making it up. I had a hard time actually creating the characters and creating dialogue and I was so used to interviewing people who kind of gave me the material that I needed that I it, it was hard to do that and I took a it took me about a year to write it mm -hmm. start to finish not like every single day because I was also working but yeah it, yeah and so what um, is there a better time in the day for you for writing a lot of people say really early in the morning before their day gets started is that the most creative time was that true for you um, mostly um, in the morning when I would first get up is mostly the any time I'm doing even with work I'm most creative then I sort of peter out near the end of the day mm -hmm. and then a little bit later at night you know mm -hmm. after I've had dinner and things you know kind of settle down a little bit I, I'd write for an hour or two as well okay. so okay. <laughs> so would you find or do you, do you believe that a year is pretty typical for writing a novel if you were to give advice to someone else would you say plan on a year or maybe more for inexperienced writers um, I'm not sure I think it might take a little bit longer for somebody who's inexperienced just because they don't have the the writing background and I have a second book that I've written that I essentially wrote in a month so I think it kind of depends oh, on how devoted you are and <laughs> you so that's your next book it's not yet published right no it's not published okay. I, I've finished writing it I've done my first edits and I'm shopping it around to is it a mystery publish. as well it is and I use my reporter character from Okay. the first book as my main character in that book. So there's a link between the two. Yes. So you're going to be this weekend at Main Street Books in St. Charles for book yes. signing. Yes. And so, um, Emily, um, who owns Main Street Books, is uh, I'm going to be out there from 1 to 4 p.m. on Saturday signing okay. books. Good. And then um, October, October 25th, I'll be at the book house uh, from 2 to 4 p.m. Okay, believe. in Maplewood. In Maplewood, yes. Okay, very good. So meet Susan at these two events and pick up your copy of Craft in the Cobblestone, a, a, not, a, a hard to put down mystery. <laughs> Cracks in the Cobblestone is currently available at all major retailers and of course online. And there's more STL Live after this, so please stay with us.